Hi, I'm Dr. Linda Sapinara, and welcome to the Princeton Piano Teacher Studio. A lot of pianists talk about having good posture at the piano. Posture isn't really a word that I tend to use in my teaching because I think it implies something that's static or held, and I think piano playing is more about how we move at the piano. So today I thought I would address how I think about sitting at the piano with an Alexander Technique perspective in mind. Most of us, when we think about having good posture, I think we tend to pull everything up. The neck, the shoulders, and we create this arch in the lower back here. I'm going to show you from the overhead end profile view what that looks like when I do that. So you see, especially in the overhead view, how I'm getting in my own space here. And if I try to move up and down the piano, it feels very confined. If I can just undo that, look at all the space that it creates here. And then I can move up and down the piano freely. So how can we achieve that? There's something in Alexander Technique called constructive rest. If you Google that term, you'll find plenty of videos that will talk you through it. But you can also just take a couple minutes yourself and lie down on the floor and simply feel where your back comes into contact with the floor. After you do that, you can sit down at the piano. And when you go to play, just remember what it felt like to have your back come in contact with the floor. That's all I really was doing when I changed from that tense, pulled up position to the more relaxed position that allowed me the freedom to move up and down the piano. So give that a try. I hope it helps you. And please feel free to comment and let me know if it works for you. If you're interested in other videos like this that incorporate Alexander Technique into piano playing, please subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you there.